Hi, I'm Victoria City, and welcome to the first episode of CSUR tutorial series on building a realistic road intersection. Before getting started, please make sure that you have subscribed and enabled CSUR assets and mods listed in the video, as well as the extra mods required. Now let's begin. First, open the CSUR road selector to build the main road from bottom left to top right. The road has three lanes in each direction separated by median, so we can select this road by checking the lanes 1, 2, and 3, then click the arrow to switch from a one-way road to a two-way road, and we can lay down this main road. The other main road on the intersection has a wider median, and it can be selected by changing 1, 2, and 3 in the road selector to 2, 3, and 4. To increase the capacity of the intersection, we can add a left turn lane on each way to it. Click the arrow icon again to switch to an asymmetrical road with one additional forward lane. Then we use it to upgrade the roads connecting to the intersection. The asymmetrical roads on the other side can be found by selecting lanes 1, 2, and 3 again. After building the roads, we open the Traffic Manager panel to customize traffic lights and lane arrows. There are several small intersections with the two-lane roads. We turn off their traffic lights, and the medians on larger roads will be connected automatically. Then open lane arrow settings to make the innermost lanes entering the big intersection left turn only. In addition, to prevent cars from turning across the median, we need to make all the small roads right turn only, and remove the left turns on the larger roads at each small intersection. Automatic median detection has already been planned as a future traffic manager feature, and I'm also talking to the TMPE team to make it compatible with CSUR, so this step might become unnecessary in the future. You may have noticed that there are blue holes on some of the road segments. This was caused by CSUR toolbox adjusting the sizes of the intersections, and it can be fixed by upgrading or moving the segment. Next, we add solid lines right before the intersection, which is also part of the CSUR magic. Click the district pole and make a district covering the asymmetrical roads. Then open the district policy panel, enable the ban bike on sidewalks policy in the city planning tab, close the panel and unpause the simulation. The solid lines just grow by itself in a second. Finally, we need to put pedestrian crossings because large roads in CSUR don't have them built in. Crossings for CSUR can be found in the sidewalk category. For easier placement, we first build the crossings on an empty surface according to the width of the main roads, then open Move It, select the nose of the crossing and copy that right after the stop bar. After placing the crossings, just remove the ones built as templates, and a detailed, realistic intersection is all done. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to check out more stuff about CSUR, and see you next time.